Hi, first of all, I know I'm very late with the review, but I still want to put it out as I love this game. Simply put, it's awesome. Graphically, it's amazing with watercolor visuals, different environments and weather effects that makes huge differences in the battle zone and brings in new changes to the series. And you will need to adapt and change your tactics considering that these new effects really impact your gameplay. The game sets you into diverse environments, from battles in the city to flowery fields, Though a big chunk of the game will be spent in snowy areas later, yet I can still argue that it's still beautifully crafted. Each mission will take you roughly 15 minutes or less depending on your skills and difficulty, and this number will raise to one hour or more later in the game, especially in the last chapters. You will control your members using CPs, and movements depend on your AP gauge or stamina. Bear in mind that scouts have the highest AP, so make sure you really abuse them. And you can choose the same soldier more than once, but the AP will be reduced with each use in the same turn. Also not though they can attack once with each use, so you need to spend another CP by choosing the same soldier again. Be strategic by looking at their AP and the ammo available to them, as you don't want to pick a soldier that has 10% of the AP available with no ammo to shoot. The game will put you in a tutorial, so don't worry about what I said just now. <laughs> well, yes. If you are a fan of long cutscenes, then Valkyria Chronicles got you covered. The cutscenes are long, voice acting and lip syncing is severely done well, with exception to normal NPC soldiers. Sir! Incoming transmission from the front lines! Without spoiling much, I would say that the story is wonderful, with many surprises and twists later on. Remember that your squad members matter a lot in this game. New soldiers will join you as you progress through the game. You can play their stories in the squad story section. So make sure you take them to battle and keep changing your battle squad to unlock more of their individual stories. So you need to have them, like you need to choose your members, I mean new squad members in battle. So you will unlock more stories. Each squad has their own stories. Also check their preferences as taking squad members that like each other will unlock more potentials which will help you in battle and you don't want to take a squad member that has a chance to get zero AP as you control them just because there's no one that he likes in the current team so make sure you always like put buddies together uh, these attributes will increase and preferences will grow from liking one character to th liking three or four as you progress and also make sure you get to your foreign squad members if you fail to treat them soon enough, then they will be forever gone from the game. Valkyria Fornkers 4 is a tactical RPG. Forget the handheld versions on the PS Vita or whatever, this is the real deal right here. The original Valkyria Chronicles is available in the store as a remaster. If you want to check it out, this game is a real step up and brings justice to the series. But sadly, it's a very underrated like the original, so please support such amazing games, support the developers. Anyway, a new class Grenadier is introduced in the series and I love it so much. In fact, I deploy them in each battle. You'll get to order Centurion later in the game as well as you can order your squad members given if Cloud has not retreated from the battle. This will increase their potential in evading stacks, increasing their accuracy or defense and will unlock more options as you progress. Though it will cost you a certain number of CPs depending on the order that you choose. So make sure you level up your classes, though leveling up won't show the real changes in their attribute, you will just see a gauge and that's it. You will not see what differences it will make, but it will tell you when you will unlock a new potential in a class or learn a new order. So always and always, always, always check the mess hall as you unlock new orders or attributes. Uh, regularly upgrade your weapons and tanks, make sure you equip the new weapons and parts respectively. The game will not tell you if new upgrades are available. There's no notification or anything, so you'll have to check after each chapter manually. You'll also unlock skirmish levels, and these will help you a lot in leveling up, actually. And you can replay them to earn a lot of XP or DCT, which is the currency in the game, to upgrade weapons and tank spots. So help yourself in getting to level 11 in each class to unlock the elite attributes. Sadly, there is no multiplayer in this game, though I would have loved it if you could play with your friends, choose a map with a certain weather effect, position your squad and battle out as you would do normally. This will te test out your tactics, I mean, and I certainly believe it could have been a lot of fun, but sadly we don't have it. 
and finally i cannot stress enough but if you are a fan of rpgs then you should get this game and if you played the original you will find yourself at home there's no open world that you can freely explore but you will certainly get to experience a great story with polished gameplay mechanics and i'm happy to give this game 9 out of 10 i love it and please support our channel by subscribing and hitting the bell button thank you and have a great one